Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, welcome back. How are you doing, John? I'm doing great, Art. You look good. Uh, I'm glad to see you in front of your, um, what is that, a parking lot full of old woodies in the, yeah. at the beach? Yeah, absolutely. That's, you yeah. Know, that's, that's my life. That's where I live. Yeah. In my, mi in my, my mind. In my mind. In my mind. In your mind, in your chroma key. Mm -hmm. I've got my uh, my December woolies on. Well, that's know? that's right because you live south of me, where it's a lot colder. Uh, <laughs> where uh, we must be in Australia. That's where we are. It's the winds yeah. blow, and it's uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Art, here we are in my woolies in the middle of December, mm -hmm. and uh, we have for the last three or four weeks we have been listening to your wonderful tales of how to save money on cars and things like that. I know you're not finished yet. Right. While everybody else is going to Amazon and spending a lot of money, you're looking ways to bring down your overhead. What's the latest? Well, the latest is, uh, as you know, well, last week, uh, and I'll give you an update. Uh, we uh, went from AT&T to Consumer Cellular, same network, uh, because that's what Consumer Cellular uses. And uh, yeah. we cut our bill in half for the exact same network, the exact same Isn't that phones. Amazing? Yeah. And we're going to get like $30, $40 signing bonuses back as well. Wow. So uh, I should have done it a year ago. It's, you know, 600 bucks a year more money to spend on Amazon. Um, you know, people like you and me and, and everybody else in the world. So that's sure. that was 600 bucks. But but uh, yeah. I don't have been looking at something else for about you know, two years. And, you know, one of the problems with, with any of these changes, whether you save money or not, is <clears throat> changing uh, the, the look and feel, how you're going to work with a new uh, uh, sure. interface. Sure. It, it, we get comfortable with something. We just don't want to change. Right. You know, it's the, the size of the phone or the, you know, Internet or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Like me going from my flip phone to a smartphone. That was really traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, uh, Art, that was 20 years ago. Yes. <laughs> and I, I still feel it. So, All right. So what's the latest? So the latest is um, uh, TV. We, a lot of people are cutting the cord and that has nothing to do with uh, like whether you get uh, uh, a cable uh, TV, let's say from Cox Communications is a big one around North Spectrum or somebody like that. But uh, the, the two big uh, uh, satellite companies are Direct TV and uh, Dish TV. And now you've had satellite for a long time. <clears throat> for a long time. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, I go back in the day when we first got cable in Cox. It was really wonderful. It had a remote yeah. control on a wire. I mean, it was really, you didn't have to get up from your couch, but you had to make sure you didn't trip over the wire uh, yeah. for the remote control. Uh, and it was always great uh, TV, uh, reception. Uh, no matter where we lived, and I stayed with TV. yeah. So I I stayed with Cox for a long time, and then their service started deteriorating, as <clears throat> most of these tend to do. They they get uh, comfortable. They don't want to invest more in their networks, and things deteriorate. Right. So I went to Direct TV, and I have to tell you that uh, up until I uh, changed, I'm totally happy with it. I think in like 14, 13, 14 years, if we had more than a couple of uh, hours here and there of interrupted service because of weather, uh, even just crappy reception because of weather. If you add them all together, maybe there was four or five hours uh, that wow. we didn't have uh, uh, acceptable reception. Very happy. Now with satellite, yeah, I, I have never had satellite. I've always had uh, wire, uh, cable. cable yeah. um, with satellite, do you have all the options that you have with cable? You can get HBO and Showtime and all the other yeah. stuff that they're coming up with you, these days. You get them all. In fact, what they do is every so often they give it to you, hoping that you'll forget to cancel so you can, you know, you'll continue to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they have HBO, Stars, Showtime. Yeah. Uh, and they have a, these now series of other packages. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, Dish TV, their basic uh, is uh, five or six basic packages then they have some additional entertainment packages or sports so you just you, you just switched from direct tv yeah. after 14 years to dish did it tv in, did it in steps uh, direct tv has been 
extremely reliable. Uh, we're used to, you know, how you record and delete, and we knew all the, right. the interface. Uh, it's almost like back, if you remember back in the day, uh, Chrysler's uh, cars had uh, the nuts on the wheels went the other direction uh, when you uh, took off a spare tire. I don't know whether you know that. Everybody yes, turned on tight that. and loosened. Well, they were the, so there were a couple of things that were a little bit different, but uh, yeah. the, meta, the, the, the the user interface is basically Dish TV has all the same uh, channels and everything that you would want uh, right. as Direct TV. They're in slightly different packages, but they're less expensive. But in any event, about a year and a half ago, <clears throat> they were getting uh, Direct TV was getting so expensive that I was threatening to quit. And they just, they wouldn't help out at all. So I said, well, what about, do you have any new user packages? And they said, yeah, 50% off of this and that, and that for a year. Yeah. Well, how do you do that? Well, let's see. Well, you can't do it if you're already a customer. They well, won't give you that new. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Except <clears throat> that I was a customer. It was under my name. Linda was not yeah. a customer. So we canceled <laughs> mine. Okay. <laughs> We canceled mine. And after, Linda became a new customer. Linda, with became, 50 Linda became discount. a new customer. Same dish. They sent us all yeah. new equipment, upgraded equipment. I sent my yeah. equipment back. You bring it to a UPS store. And we were out without service for about 13 minutes while I was setting up the new stuff and canceling the old. So it, that it, ran out, obviously. Well, it was running out in January. And then yeah. and I had been getting these mailings from Dish TV and my... Uh, my daughter and son-in-law have had it for about eight years, and they, they love it. Uh, so I, I knew that it was probably an acceptable alternative. But I get the mailer that had a fixed price guaranteed for two years, which is, by the way, the same price that my uh, uh, son-in-law has been paying for about two years now. So it's, it's, it's pretty steady. So that wasn't particularly special. But what was special was that they had a $300 a MasterCard uh, uh, that you would get as a bonus. Look, it cost about fifteen hundred dollars for them to recruit a uh, a customer, so yeah. they they'll do almost anything to recruit a customer. So here was three hundred dollar right. uh, Visa card, and you have to actually commit to two years, and then after that you're yeah. on month to month. But so when all was said and done, the Directv was in January going to be $80 a month, more than this dish package I'm guaranteed for wow. two years. And there's no reason- 80 bucks a month more. More for the same wow. channel lineup, except for one one station, which I do want to pay an extra 10 bucks a month for, Bloomberg TV, I enjoy that. But I can actually get most of that on um, YouTube and other sources. You go to bloombergtv.com yeah. or something like that. And I get most of the things that I'm interested in that anyway. So here I am. I'm saving eighty bucks a month. That's in, pretty significant. Instead of having maybe thirty hours of local storage, okay, which yeah. I never filled up anyway, I have now two terabytes of local storage. You mean you're like a VCR? Or like a VCR. They call it DVR. Um, okay, a DVR. Thank yeah. you. So in any event, and two terabytes is like. A year's worth of programming. I, I don't know. I it's can't a, save, it's huge. I can't save enough to support all of Mission Viejo. If, or, yeah. if everybody <laughs> Mission Viejo picked 10 programs. Okay. Yeah. And, and they have other nice features. The metaphor is a little bit different. So until you can figure out how to uh, set up recording in the future and things like that. It's all yeah. there. But it's, it's somewhat different. And they have other features sure. which were actually nicer. So it took us about two or three days to get used to it. But uh, <clears throat> uh, direct... Uh, Dish TV came over. They put the dish right next to the Direct TV because they know what direction it has to to to, to point. And uh, Direct TV and Dish will never take the dish down because even if you leave them, they're hoping that the next uh, occupant of your building will take it. Sure, we'll we'll right. opt for them. Yeah. Right. So in any event, uh, it was easy. Uh, I ordered it on a Sunday. They would have come on on Monday to install it. Uh, yeah. And uh, we didn't want it to be installed until Wednesday or something like that. So they gave us a time. They were there exactly within the window. They were, you know, masked and booties and all that stuff. Had it installed, uh, got it into all the rooms. 
And we also have something called, uh, although uh, DirecTV has something similar, called Dish Anywhere, which you can play on your tablet or yeah. on another computer or any place else. So what we did... And so you've got this Go Anywhere Wi-Fi right, that I satellite. Can, like ca yeah. carry with me or... Well, by that That's time, it's amazing. probably over uh, internet. <clears throat> but in any event, yeah. uh, so all, we've immediately started saving $80 a month. That's great. Okay, and, That's great. Uh, and we know that DirecTV is going to go up again. So again, it's this whole thing of you're used to one thing, it prevents you from looking at something else, which is a perfectly good alternative. Uh, right. I remember that I, I, I owned Ford Explorers for a period of time, and there was one feature that they have that not many other people have, which was a little push button uh, a remote entry. And I, uh -huh. I've missed that on all my other cars. Now they have things where it's keyless entry. You just hold a, a, your key. Right. But what I used to do is when I used to go to the, the beach every Sunday morning to read the paper, I would go to the beach and I would have my key and everything else locked in the car. And then when I got back to the car, I would hit you know my code uh, on the door right. and it would open up. And it was really convenient. I didn't have to worry about losing my key in the gym or any other place. Sure. But and, was, and that's why you stayed with Ford? Right. And then just one day I finally got tired of the transmissions, <laughs> which are, they're notorious on Explorers. They're terrible. Uh, I think even yeah. to today, it's, it's, it's almost like a feature uh, that uh, they have terrible. But you put up with that because you like a lot of the other things. But then I bought a, uh, a low mileage um, a Honda Pilot, which you know that I love. I had for nine years before I just got rid of it for uh, Santa Pardon Fe. me for a second. Okay. It's... I, I have to learn to turn my phone off. But, and uh, but John, I haven't done that yet. John, that may, be, that may be a junk call for me. <laughs> you could answer. It was me. a junk it call. It could have been for me. <laughs> yeah. well, now they're leaving a message. Okay, okay great. Good. So anyway, uh, anyway, so so the cool. bottom line is, get out of your comfort. You're saving zone. eighty bucks a month, right? And you got out of your comfort zone finally, right? In order to make the change. Right. But here, here's the other thing: you do a lot of research. Obviously, okay. you've been thinking about this change for a year or more, right? But you you do a lot of research to make sure that you're getting what you want, and you're not jumping from the frying pan into the fire. And also, I called DirecTV and must have spent on two or three sessions over an hour and a half with them. Yeah. Because sometimes they, they do something, well, we'll give you a $10 credit this month. And I said, I don't think so. Okay, what are you going to yeah. do for the next two years when you're charging me $80 a year? Well, call back in January. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have to, this coupon is good till December 8th. Okay, so... <laughs> either make the decision now or not. Now, I, I can guarantee you that I'm going to get an offer from DirecTV offering to keep my rate the same for yeah. another year if uh, we'll uh, uh, sign back up. But too late. And so, that, but, but, but I, do, do, that, I do do the research, though. Yeah, yeah that, that's a trick that I learned a long, long time ago. And that is uh, when you have a regular service like that, like cable television right. or something, um, and you know the prices have to go up every year anyway, but if they start going up, you know, in in a way that you can't afford or deal with, you can you you can the best thing to do is call and threaten to quit. Right. You have to talk to a supervisor. You have to threaten to quit. You have to be adamant about it. Right. So they keep upping the offer. They right. keep upping the discounts. Oh, we'll give you the senior yeah. discount. Oh, we'll let we'll keep it for a year. All right, we'll keep it for two years. Right. Um, and you're right. At some point, somebody else has got a better deal, no matter I, what. In this particular case, though, I will tell you that um, uh, there's a commonality about also two and a half years ago, I dropped AT&T Internet because they only had uh, a copper wire service to the house and Cox had yeah. high speed and we were doing this project and other things. And I wanted much higher speeds and they were they were totally unreliable. I'm a, I'm a stockholder because of the dividends. You know that. We talk about this from time to sure. time. So we've got a bunch of AT&T stock, uh, and I, I bought that because of the dividends. It's not going to be a high flyer, but it should be right. good steady. They've been giving dividends now for about, what, 70 years or something since the Depression. Something silly, yeah. Yeah. And, and no, there's no sign. Of course, it's, the dividends are so high now that 
uh, you know, there's internet uh, blogs back and forth. Is it going to, can they pay the dividend? Will they default? And they're, they're pretty solid companies. And that, uh, but that's, that being solid has made them arrogant. And yes. quite frankly, I'm beginning to think that uh, uh, unlike most other companies that are a lot more aggressive, and granted they're big, although Verizon is big as well. And I understand you have Verizon, don't you? <clears throat> Yes, they probably has a, uh, as good uh, a uh, network as possible, uh, but I, th I think I went with them because I thought it was the best. Mm -hmm. But I also went with them because they had more towers across the country. I was doing a lot of traveling. Right. I was I hit all fifty states within four years. Right. Um, and so I needed to be able to have, you know, reliable service anywhere I went. And I, then there was a period when I needed international service as well so well, but that's a long time well, ago I'll tell you, i just kept yeah, it's convenience i'll tell you I, I had similar situations with direct tv about 10 years ago before they were only partial they were invested in by at&t but not owned by them as soon as at&t took them over they got the same crap attitude that yeah uh, they that at&t had and i think what's going to happen is one day somebody's going to wake up and say because we all know that they're bleeding uh, customers uh, on right. every side, but, but particularly since they bought what Time Warner and HBO, yeah. and they're just they're bleeding customers left and right. Somewhere yeah. along the line, somebody's going to say, "We need to stop this because that's a, <laughs> a, a revenue stream." Okay, <laughs> but too late for me now. Maybe three, four, five years from now, they'll have a better yeah. deal. But I can only say that so far. And also, I will tell you that uh, I've had a, a couple of reasons to call uh, Dish to explain something to me esoteric about how you set something up and to consumer cellular about changing the way I, I, I view voicemail on my phone, uh, which was not apparent. They didn't advertise it, but there was, I knew there was a way to do it. They were fast. They were courteous. courteous. I could mm -hmm. understand them. Okay. They had more Americanized English. Uh, and I know that they had overseas uh, of people there, which is great. I mean, they built yeah. they built an industry for that, but they they've done it in such a way that to the customer, I got what I wanted quickly, right? And and no no jumping around saying well you can't do that. Oh yes, I haven't done that before, but I've heard that it can be done. Hold on a minute. They got the right person. They walked me through it literally within four or five yeah. minutes. It was done. AT and T. I'd still be holding on now if I called last week. Right. So you know. Well, cor listen, corporate attitude, we know that corporations right. have philosophies, they have attitudes, and it all flows down from the top. So your old you philosopher, know. or yes. philosopher says, remember GE. AT&T, remember GE. Okay? I owned them just before they went bankrupt and I got out in time. <laughs> I hope I'm smart enough. Uh, to recognize this, with I hope I well, can, all I right. hope it doesn't happen to AT and T. Uh, Are you going to buy Dish t uh, stock, stock um, and Dish TV? I don't know. I haven't. I quite frankly haven't looked at it. Um, uh, but they are smart. Uh, yeah. And it's it's still a competitive business, and I think that more things. Actually, within a year or two, I think some of the court, like the Roku's, and uh -huh. the uh, Fire Sticks of the world, uh, right. may actually what if. Roku or Fire Stick puts together a, a package where you can buy your own DVR and then you can record from networks. One of the big things about uh, the uh, cable TV and direct and dish is that yeah. you can record uh, prime time stuff. You can record anything and watch it later on. Okay. Right. And we've gotten used to that. Quite frankly, there's a lot of things that we watch that we'd like to watch at a later hour while we're having dinner or something like that. Sure, but, but you're, t you're mentioning Roku. Roku, if I'm not mistaken, Roku is a service. It's not a, it doesn't, it's, it's an not a it's an provider. It's an aggregator, aggr aggregator that has a remote control box and it has all these applications on it, including some that... Roku has a box. Yeah, a box. Uh, basically, ah. it's a thing you plug into the back of the TV and it remembers... Uh, whatever you download to it, Netflix, Prime, so on and so forth. A lot of smart TVs, TVs are also having, there's a lot of confusion going on. But the thing is that nobody else, except for one, and I yeah. almost went to it, um, 
allows you to say, okay, here's one menu in one place, record this. And then here's another button say, what do I have recorded? Okay, so I can watch it. Only the cable, only the services that you get through cable or dish allow you to do that right now from a practical standpoint. The one that comes close to it, and I think that this may become the big winner or somebody like it, is YouTube TV, where you can have almost unlimited recordings of almost anything that you can get through YouTube. I didn't look at it close right. enough to find out whether or not, because you need a smart TV or you need a Roku or something, and it was just, it was beyond my time right now to do that. But I think that things like YouTube TV will, I don't know if they uh, uh, have an extra charge for broadcast TV in your area or not. But once they get all that together and they re allow you to record anything that you see via YouTube TV, I think that the dish services up and the cable services are, if they don't go away, are going to be severely limited. Let me tell you what uh, the difference is. Mm -hmm. And I could be wrong about the details, but the difference is that uh, the two satellite services uh, are their, their providers. They, they actually get whatever you want and put it into your home. Cable TV companies, whether it's uh, Cox or any of the well, others, Spectrum, do the same thing. They just do through it a wire. Right. So when you subscribe to one of those groups, the, the, the actual providers, the people with the equipment, all right, whether it's a satellite or a wire, they're the ones that can provide you with Roku, Apple TV, uh, Acorn TV, any one of these millions of new networks. These other guys don't want to invest in the equipment. Oh, contraire. And that's... Oh, contraire. You're almost right, except YouTube doesn't need equipment. They store it on the cloud. So their equipment is unlimited. They don't have to spread it no, around. You, 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 miss, you miss the point. The point is, how does it get to your house? Through the internet. You, how do you get the internet? Through, you, actually, you can get it through cable. Okay. I have cable for Cox without TV. Yeah. Stop. How do you, how do you get the internet? I happen to get it through uh, a cable. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can get the internet, I believe, through a satellite yeah, dish Hughes, as well. Yeah, Hughes, Hughes net. Uh -huh. right. But Apple TV right now is not invested in a satellite or a cable to get you their service. Mm -hmm. If you can't get the internet, now you can go to AT&T or your telephone company and Verizon or whatever and buy internet and watch Apple TV through your internet, right. but you need internet service. Correct. And the difference is Verizon and um, uh, Cox Cable, all the cable companies and the satellite companies, they are the providers. Everybody else, all these other channels don't want to spend the money. They want to, they want to do programming. Mm -hmm. They want to buy programming, consolidate it, send it to you, charge you a fee, and they'll let Cox or Verizon or AT&T or whoever it is, charge a fee, right? So if you need, you, it's like HBO. Where did HBO come from? HBO doesn't own any boxes. People paid 10 bucks a month for HBO or whatever they pay. Right. And the cable company or the satellite company takes 10% off, 15%, whatever they take, and everybody's happy. Um, and that's, that's the difference. Until all these other companies uh, provide the actual equipment, I don't know what the right word is, but it's the real service to get it into your home, uh, all these other companies are going to remain what they are, uh, which is okay. programming so I, service. Uh, notwithstanding all that you said, and much of, there's much truth in there, is that I believe that as the same as all of these cut-the-cord services, okay? Yes. Apple TV being one of them, okay? Yep. Uh, um, Hulu and all these others that bring you bits and pieces of right. of basically what you can get on uh, uh, direct TV or or cable or what have you, okay. Irrespective of all that, 
I see a new sea change happening over the next two years where you're going to get somebody like YouTube TV that is going to aggregate more and more of these services, make them available, and they're going to provide the DVR services in the cloud rather than in something in your house. So as long as you can sure. get connected to the Internet, okay, you can go to one service that will aggregate sure. them, and then you'll see a sea change in pricing. They'll have to drop down. Uh, and YouTube has, uh, I haven't looked into it too deeply, but uh, I have a, another a brother-in-law of my uh, my sister's uh, uh, brother has set up a uh, an antenna in his house to get his broadcast TV. And he right. has, I think, YouTube TV and one other service, maybe Netflix, and they have Prime because they get Amazon. And between that, they have all the TV that they care about. Okay, and they're paying... We all, believe paying, me, we all have more than we need. Right, so, so they're paying about 60 bucks a month. Okay, for what okay. I'm paying, 105 bucks a month, that I was going to pay 180 bucks a month for. So, yeah. anyway. All right, so, so let's wrap this up because we have we have drifted away from right. saving 80 bucks a month. I think we're actually, when we stop this, we're actually into next week already. <laughs> <laughs> Art, a great lesson for all of us uh, to, I think, be vigilant. And uh, and look at what you got. It's, you're right. There's so much competition out there, and it and it's all only going to get more so. So get out of your comfort zone. Taking advantage of that as consumers. Get out of your comfort zone and continue going yep. to a new app. You know what? You can have all the act twos that you want. That's yep. the truth of the matter. If you just are open yep. to it. So with that, John, right. uh, say something. Good mag advice. Say something mag magnificent to get us out of here. Oh, goodbye, Art, and thanks for the advice of saving 80 bucks a month. I like that a lot. Okay, and I'm going to take a break saving money. I'm taking a holiday break uh, for the month of December. Well, listen, speaking of holiday break, mm. uh, Hanukkah starts this Wednesday uh, night. I right? got eight, day, eight days of, of uh, trying to figure out how to save some money. All right. All right. <laughs> Light Thank a candle. You. Thank you. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you. And to all, all of you watching, if you are of the... Jewish persuasion. Happy Hanukkah to you too. Right, and uh, pretty soon we'll be getting into Merry Christmas. So, uh, my very Merry Christmas. Yeah, weeks, just a few weeks now too. Right. Well, your daughter-in-law is going to be out caroling probably pretty soon. She, she goes around caroling. Actually, interestingly, we're not going to end just yet. She started caroling this week, and they are wearing uh, they're they, wearing masks only outside, and they're about six feet apart each. And there's like a zone around them that people can't get closer than about uh, eight or great. 12 feet. Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, she started this week, this weekend. Yeah. Well, good. That, that We're right in the middle of the season, aren't we? Right. And so it's not to hurt anybody's ears. I think we'll say goodbye rather than sing them out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you for our co-founders blog vlog uh, next Thursday. Okay. And it's time for you to save some money, John. It is. You bet. See ya. Bye. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.